Yesterday we reported that filmmaker Ivan Reitman was stepping away as the director for the planned next Ghostbusters film. Today, Hollywood journalist Nikki Fink is reporting that Lego Movie and 21 Jump Street directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller are already in discussions with Sony to take over the project. Aaron, would Miller and Lord be a good fit for Ghostbusters? Absolutely. They would be a great fit for this movie. They have a track record of basically bringing kind of obscure ideas or retro mm. ideas back to the big screen and they make it work and they're so funny. They're talented. They're on a hot streak right now. If anyone can do this and make this project work, it's them. Erin or Amy Rose? <laughs> I'm definitely drinking the Kool-Aid of Miller and Lord. I mean, they just... You're right, they bring obscure things, Lego movie. None of us were really excited about that at Comic-Con. Oh, no. I was like, let's just have a fun interview. And then I was like, okay. After I saw it, it was fantastic. And I feel like everything they've touched, whether it be live action, animated, anything, so excited for 22 Jump Street. They're such a good team and they're so clever and witty and also have beautiful shots. But Ghostbusters 3, without Ivan Reitman, without Harold, without Bill Murray, I don't want to see it. I just don't think it's going to bring back the magic. I'd rather them reboot it and do something fresh and start the franchise over because all these very important elements are not going to be Ghostbusters 3 to me. So while mm. they are a good fit, um, I'd rather them not do Ghostbusters 3. At this yeah, point. I doubt they're going to call it Ghostbusters 3, but good. at the same time, we talked on the show the other day that I would much rather they just reboot this thing and mm -hmm. just call it a reboot, a proper reboot, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But moving ahead, Lord Miller. Absolutely. For anything. Really. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and look at the body, what they've done so far. Where they're, you're talking about Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, mm -hmm. then something like an R-rated comedy to 21 Jump Street, and they do something as purely delightful as the Lego movie. This is just a really, really good fit. But mm -hmm. I do want to suggest a couple other guys that I think could do a pretty decent job in a oh. Ghostbusters as well. Jake Kasdan who directed the Walk Hard, uh, the, uh, the Dewey Cox story. He also directs a lot of New Girl. Mm -hmm. um, and he also uh, worked on uh, the original and the upcoming sequel, Bad Teacher. Um, I think he, he would be kind of a nice little fit. Another guy would be Todd Phillips. Now, a lot of people want to dump on Todd Phil Phillips right now because of Hangover 2 and Hangover 3. But don't forget about Hangover. Don't forget about old school. I mean, this guy I can... I will never forget old, old school. school. <laughs> uh, even Due Date, I thought, had, yeah. had, a, had a good amount of charm. So that, that all fits in there as well. Seth Rogen and uh, Goldberg um, mm -hmm. would also be a really interesting idea to direct mm -hmm. a film like this. But... If it can't, if I had to choose, if I was whispering in Amy Pascal's ear over at Sony about who should maybe direct this, I love Lord and Miller. Yeah. That's great. To me, the most poetic and perfect guy would be Jason Reitman. Oh, yeah. Ivan Reitman's son, whether you're looking at films like, uh, you know, Up in the Air, which is mm -hmm, fantastic, mm -hmm. Thank You for Smoking, Juno. Uh, I wasn't a big film of the last one that he just did, yeah. uh, Labor Day. Yeah. But but that was one. One out of the, all the films and he's done. And it still was interesting. Yeah, it's it's it keeps it in the family, yeah. per se. He's a wonderful Oscar-nominated yeah. director and writer. I think, I would love to see Reitman, but don't get me wrong. If, if it comes to pass that it's Lord Miller, you're going to see all of us going, Awesome. I was completely <laughs> disinterested in, in Ghostbusters. Yeah. And now mm -hmm. suddenly I have a bit of interest in Ghostbusters. That's what adding these two guys would do. So it would be a pretty good move on Sony's part. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.